Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're going to be installing some corrugated pipe, about 200 feet. If you're going to do this yourself, you come to Lowe's, buy your pipe and materials, load it up, take it back to your job site. Let's go ahead and grab some pipe. So again, try to get all your materials so that you don't have to make several trips back and forth to Lowe's or to the Home Depot, wherever you're buying your material. It'll definitely keep some frustration down when you're doing it yourself. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. So we've got our material, which we got at Lowe's this morning, and um, got 200 feet of four inch solid corrugated pipe. And the reason that we're in this yard working is because back here in the back, they've got a lot of standing water. We've already started our trench through the really hard section up here, and that is through the tree roots. And you can see the tree roots here. If you look carefully, a lot of roots down through this line, all coming from this great big old maple. And so, a real difficult area to trench as we went through here. But let's go back and look at the problem. And you can see you know, why this needs to be done. From the pool, they have a, an overflow drain that comes out the back, right here by this little statue. And it's just been flooding and flooding and flooding. And you can see our trench is already filled up with water. The whole area, more than just their yard, it floods over into the neighbor's yard as well. And you can see they can't even mow their grass over here. It's just so, so wet. And what we need to do is put in some French drains. So from the end of the overflow, which is right here, you see the overflow pipe right there. We're gonna begin our line. We'll go much deeper. We will put our easy drain, the easy flow drain pipe in here. That's the styrofoam peanuts. A couple of catch basins here in the low spots. <clears throat> we'll connect it to this section over here where it's gonna change to solid pipe. And this is going to run all the way out to the street. So even running the trencher, if you've got wet soil and this clay, you can see how clumpy it gets. See all the clumpiness in that soil? So your trencher doesn't always pull it out. So we have to come back by hand. Even though it's all broke up, you still gotta trench it out. We say clean out the trench. You just put that shovel right down on the bottom. You scrape it, use your body weight. Try to hit the bottom of the trench where you just ran the trencher through so you know you're deep enough. And we're pretty deep. We're down there about 18, 20 inches or so. We're gonna continue that all the way out. A lot of tree roots, a lot of rocks. Just a typical install, but we're almost there. And then we'll go ahead and lay some pipe and open this trench up and get this water to flow all the way out to the street. Okay, so we've almost got this ready to go. We still need to open the trench up here about six feet. And we've got a nice trench running through the tree roots through here. It goes all the way out to the street you can see the rolls of pipe out there. That trench goes all the way out to the street. So I'm gonna work on this area right here, just through that mud section, and let this drain through there. We'll see what kind of flow we have. Okay, so we've got it all hooked up, and you can see we've got from the pool drain, the overflow. I suspect they either have a sprinkler leak or a pool leak, because this water's been flowing the whole time that we're working it didn't rain last night anyways catch basin I used a little bit of easy flow right there a little bit more easy flow with another catch basin easy flow to the next catch basin and then it changes to solid and it runs all the way out to the street this area here is a real mess to clean up not much you can do with it just let it dry and you know then you can reseed or resaw whichever you want to do but it will clean up a little bit and this water that we see on the ground should enter our system and be carried away. So that line from the pool drain up there comes through this bed between this, these plants and the roses right through this maple tree. Boy, there's some tough roots in there. We got plenty deep enough and you can see the line over here. Nice little squiggly line here. <laughs> Lots of roots until we get out of the roots. Nice solid pipe all the way out. Runs about 140 feet here from the fence. 
all the way out here to the street. We found the old downspout drain right here, in which we just went right through, no big deal. Comes all the way out, and out here at the curb, almost to the curb, I stopped a little short <clears throat> because it kind of goes uphill there. Um, put a pop-up on it. Remember how a pop-up works? As water comes down the line, it lifts up the emitter, and I can actually see water down inside there. I don't know if you can, but yeah. Water's coming all the way to the end of the line, and <clears throat> so from now on, whatever's been going on back there, this water has a place to go. Before, it had no place to go. And that's pretty much what you're doing when you put in a, a drain pipe, is you're just giving water a place to go. And the better, you know, the bigger the pipe or the more downhill run you have, the better it works. If you don't have downhill run, then of course you end up putting a sump pump, you know, to lift that water, lift it up, and then have gravity again bring it back out. Okay, so here's the end of our line. This is a pop-up emitter. Water comes down the line and lifts up the emitter. And yeah, it's, it's full. You see the water right there? So water's coming down the line already, picking up from the yard in the back. A lot of water back there. And got a nice solid pipe. You can see if we've backfilled the trench here, this will all settle really nicely, quite deep here. So it'll settle pretty well. And about 220 feet all together. A good project for the do-it-yourselfer, I would suggest when you're trenching, if you're going to dig this and you decide you want to do it yourself, if you've got these big maples, you really should think about getting the trencher because you can see the tree roots just from the maple. I mean, they're tremendous and you can definitely chop through them, but the trencher can cut through most of the roots. So let's go back there in the back and take a look. Okay, so he tells me the original problem is over here in the pool, there's an overflow drain and that water comes down this line. We actually did make a repair here one time and it worked great. However, we've had so much water this spring that the groundwater has risen up and of course now when that tries to drain, there's just no place for it to go. So we've got solid pipe coming around French drain, we used the easy flow, added catch basins. French drain between the catch basins. And this is really soft and wet, but it just has to dry. It'll get soaked up you know, into the underground system, which is the gravel perforated pipe. People call it French drain. That collects subsurface water. And catch basins, they collect immediate surface water runoff. So when it rains, water can pour directly into your system. Line comes around through this natural area. Again, a lot of tree roots back here. A lot, a lot, a lot of tree roots. It runs all the way out to the street. Don't forget about our live help video consultation via Skype. Sign up online, $50 a session. You can answer any question, help with project planning, materials, just about every aspect of your project. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. So again, a really great project for a do-it-yourselfer. Um, definitely save three, four thousand dollars if you do it yourself, and you know that's after your, your materials and rent the trencher. So it's a you know really worth doing yourself if you can do it. Um, if not, you know we're available. Um, we go pretty much anywhere in the country, um, but you could probably find somebody local if you're not within our areas, which is you know pretty much Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, Virginia. Uh, anyway, southeast. <laughs> So the reason I think they have a sprinkler leak is if you watch that little wheel right there, you can see it moving. There's no one home here and that water is still draining through the line, just, air, you know, just a little trickle. So I think they have a sprinkler leak or they have a hole in their pool, but that would indicate a sprinkler leak right there.